case where my uh, tender was almost uh, too good, if that's possible. Those were the uh, dead uh, ornamental grass that we have growing out here. And boy, that stuff just goes up. I mean, I put the char cloth in and it started without even blowing. testimony to that. I'm going to have to sharpen my flint though. I did have some problems with the with the flint. So I'll have to clean that up when I get home a little bit. I'll get this going, add some wood and burn her down to some coals and see what we can get cooking later. Well, disaster had finally struck. Uh, I went ahead and prepared this meal that, uh, similar to what Shovelhead 8 had made the other night. And I decided I was going to cook it outside over fire. And uh, as you might have known from the, uh, from the other video that I did earlier today, as windy as anything out there. So I kind of built the fire up and built it down to coals and I thought I had control of it. And I stepped back in the camper here to do a couple little things and I wasn't gone more than 10 or 15 minutes I know. And uh, I went back out to spin it and check it and like I usually do and I pulled the lid off and there the wind had stoked the fire up and kind of burnt the crap out of it so we're going to I'm going to take it out of the pan here and see just how bad it is uh, maybe end up uh, eating the insides <laughs> but I don't think there'll be much eating on the outside it looks like it's pretty crispy on the bottom like I say I, if, I would have, if I would have thought I would have probably used charcoal and I could have maintained the heat a little better but uh, it's just a lesson we learn you know when you're messing with fire and you get windy conditions you never know when it's going to just stoke up and take off I thought I had it pretty much under control but obviously I didn't so let's uh, open her up here and see I I looked at the top and it's pretty much scorched <laughs> So, uh, we'll see what it is, uh, you know, never know, we'll maybe be able to salvage something out of it. Let's take a look. Well, if you don't look at the bottom, it's not really that bad. It's bad, but it's not that bad. Nothing stick. Let's see what she looks like inside. Everything's been hard for me. For a while, I didn't know if that's been hard. 
looks pretty tasty inside except for that like I say except for that bottom crust that bottom crust is really burnt But, pretty good. Maybe I'll try it again, only with a little bit more patience and control. Another di disaster diverted. I won't go hungry anyway. See you on the next one.